Hey, hi all, welcome once again to my channel Saboni this side and I have come back with another exciting videos for all of you. So in this video, I am going to discuss about utilization of DynamoDB streams as a event source trigger for your Lambda function. The typical use case of this pattern is say you are maintaining two different tables of your DynamoDB. Any changes made in table one, you want the same changes to be updated in table two or there are certain line items in your table one which has a dependency in table two and you want them to be synced so what is the typical use case you made a change in your table you definitely have to enable uh, the dynamodb streams features so whatever the changes you do the records they get captured in the streams and of a dynamodb and that streams within that stream your record is available for the next 24 hours you can utilize a lambda event source mapping where lambda service would be reading those polling events from those streams and would be invoking your function if you come down to the documentation it's a very uh, simple in, in, in a simple way if i can put it's basically ordered flow in which the records whatever you make changes in your dynamodb table they get pushed to the streams and what happens is each of those streams so if i go down below what you will be able to see is each of those streams are basically shards of data in each there are in each of those data they are pushed into certain shards which are collection of data in sequential manner and from each of those stream records lambda reads them forms an event which is a list of those events and invokes your function it's quite similar way that uh, how kinesis streams also works so in my video of uh, lambda kinesis uh, data streams you will be able to observe the similar approach that we have taken like for the implementation so here what i am going to do i will just give you a proper guide here like what are the key features of enabling a stream so once you enable a dynamodb stream you can enable the stream and you can push the data to your stream depending upon certain attributes certain factors so if you want specifically a key attribute has been modified and you want the updated modified attribute to be pushed that can also be done with the help of this option which is key attributes only so there is another way as well that like the new image so there is a line item or there is a record say order id followed by the price of a product you are keeping in your maintaining your in your table and you want to update that so the new image means a snapshot of the new item that has been after modification again you can select old image old image means so you updated your price of your line item and in the stream the previous image so what was there in the previous state that would be for that specific record would be pushed to the stream and once you select new and old images both will be pushed so depending upon your choice of use case you can select these four options so i will quickly for demonstration i will quickly go here in the aws console and i will change the region to ap south one land onto the dynamodb console i will give a name here table underscore so i need to turn off my caps lock table underscore test for example this is the one and partition key let me use as id okay and i'm going to select the default settings whatever we have so these are certain features that uh, you might be interested in order to know regarding the read capacity and write capacity for uh, the service so it allows you how you, the rate at which you want to write to your table and the rate at which you want to read through your table so increasing them or adjusting them can give you a higher capacity so those who don't know dynamodb is a key value pair storage database so after refreshing you see i will open this table test i will go to exports and streams okay so i will enable you can turn on 
DynamoDB stream details over here. Okay, before turning it on, I will in a new session, new tab rather, I will create a lambda function. Let me create a function. And I will select the runtime as Python. And regarding the permission section, so let it create a new role. So by default, it would provide the access for pushing logs to CloudWatch. I will proceed with creation. Okay, now I go back to uh, again my DynamoDB streams and I will click on turn on. So these are the things that I can select. So I, as I was discussing, only the attributes that changed new image, old image and new and old image. I will go for this option. In this case, I am able to see that what got changed and what is the new changed version of that specific line item or record. I will turn on the streams. The stream is now available and this is the stream ARN. Okay. You can implement a resource based policy like who all can access the stream. But I will not uh, enable this for now. Now I will go back to my Lambda function again. My function is created and uh, here what I shall do is I will simply print I will add this print the event I will deploy it and once it is deployed again I will go to configuration in the permission section I will open this role and I will for now provide full DynamoDB access so that the Lambda service on the functions behalf can read through the DynamoDB streams. I will attach policies and I will search for if there are exclusively anything for streams. No, it's not there. So DynamoDB execution. Let us give DynamoDB full access for now but definitely you can fine tune in case you want to restrict uh, how much you want your function to access once this is done i will again go back to my function now my function has the necessary required permission to access the dynamodb table now i will add the trigger so here you search for dynamodb so once you click on this what is your table so we create a table underscore test okay this is what our upstream is and we can you can add additional configuration that uh, what is the batch size so batch size denotes number of records that lambda would accumulate uh, after reading through the streams and would utilize it to uh, invoke your function and will pass it down as an in the, in the event actually and starting position i'm keeping it as lettuce that means you are specifying the options from where your function your lambda service would be reading your kinesis uh, not kinesis dynamodb streams so one is latest another is stream horizon and uh, there are other parameters like batch window i will ignore them for now i will activate the trigger okay cool uh, this is enabled for now but you won't be able to find anything so because there are no records here for this table and there are nothing as of now so what i shall do is i will click on explore tables and here if i go create item okay id is the partition key i will create one and if you want to add additional attributes say name is old or uh, test one for example i'll create item so a new line item an, a new item has been created i will scan it and you see the item return is this this is what we have so you can see in the json view or even in the form view you will see that an object has been created whose id is one with another attribute name as name whose value is test one okay so i'll cancel it now 
I will go to the monitor section of my function quickly. I'll click on view CloudWatch logs. Now in order to see if my stream is working or not, I will simply go over here and in the actions, let me try to edit this. I will change it to test two, save and close. Now by now, my data would be pushed into the streams. Okay. Now what I shall do? I will come here in my functions page, CloudWatch console page. Previously I opened, there were no logs. Okay. Now I will refresh this page again. And if I come down, you will be able to see an event has been logged. And what is that? I will just remove and see view in plain text. Now you see. So there was a modification done and that modification information was inserted into the stream. And what was that? Event name was modify. So there can be different event name associated. So if I, since I have updated the record, I can similarly delete as well. And you will be able to see the event name associated. And you can see the records comprises of list of events. So in this modification, what happened? The old image, what was the old image? The old image name value was test one. Whereas, whereas in case of the new image, the name value is test two. Let us similarly try to delete this record and see what is the observation we are getting here. So I will go again, the explore table item here and I will simply delete this item. Now, since this item is deleted, let us come back and see if the function got triggered or not. Okay. And we have our second invocations. In our second invocation, you see that the event type was remove. So it got removed and here you will see there is no new image available. So that, that is basically a stream view type where I selected new and old images. So in our case, since there are no new entities available, you won't be able to find any new image unlike we what we got in our first event. So in this case, only old images available. So this is an excellent way also in order to understand what has been removed from your table in case of your specific use case or mistake and leave it got removed. It is an excellent way of recovering the data as well. But mind it, it's for 24 hours, the stream records would be available. Tomorrow, the next same time, if I come one minute after this, I would not be able to fetch this specific record again from the stream. So this is how the things work here in this specific uh, setup and flow. You can try out with different use cases and uh, refer definitely use through serverless land a documentation of it that is maintained by AWS to get hold of different type of patterns that are associated with DynamoDB streams. It would definitely be helpful for you to get a, get a better grip of this specific use case. I hope the session you found have found to be useful. Please uh, feel free to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Thank you.